Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gimo and Liv. Gimo and Liv. I'm Gimo. And I'm Liv. Welcome to the show. What are we going to do today? Well, you know, since tomorrow is February the 14th. Is that the day that St. Valentine massacred all those people? I guess. <laughs> Such a romantic day. <laughs> I actually don't know much about <laughs> the Valentine's it's Day. It's actually a Valentine's Day massacre. Oh, well, that's, wow, that's I great. I used to joke about it all the time, and people used to get so offended. <laughs> they were like, how dare you bring up the massacre on Valentine's Day? Just because you don't have anybody. Just because... <laughs> It's okay. Let it out. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm just kidding. I got this new microphone. Totally fill in the void in my life. I feel so much better about myself. I sound so much better. I don't need no man. You got me. I got Liv. That's right. That's so right. And our future cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, Liv. What do you think about Valentine's Day? Well, personally, I don't really think it's a big deal. <laughs> okay, you want to elaborate? Well, I know everyone always talks about how you should do something special with your significant other. And just kind of the person I am, I'm just like, wow, I don't really care. I mm. mean... It's fine if you do something, like, sweet and nice to me, but it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. Right. And you don't have to spend lots of money, so I'm kind of just like, hey, I'd rather just, like, spend the day with you than you get something. I mean, yeah. Um, I don't really care about the, like, money aspect, but I do feel like if you don't usually treat your girlfriend or your boyfriend year round. It's it's nice to get out, go to dinner. Yeah. Like it's nice to be noticed in a way because I've been in a relationship and it's always like a bit disappointing when it's just like you want to come over, you want to watch a movie every time you hang out. Like I want to be showed off a little bit. <laughs> like don't hide me away from the world, <laughs> you know? Okay. But... I understand that. Yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> so, do you have any interesting Valentine's Day stories? Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, okay. So, I've only actually had, like, one boyfriend in my whole lifetime, <laughs> and it's the guy that I'm with with right now. Ooh. So, let's just call him B. B. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, it was my, I don't remember if it was my freshman or my sophomore year of college, but he came all the way down to where I was in college at the time, because he <laughs> lived an hour away. And he brought me some roses. Aww. And it was so sweet. I actually remember it because I didn't have a vase to put them in, so I just had to <laughs> stick them in a water bottle. <laughs> so that was oh boy. pretty sweet. I don't remember if he brought me anything else, but I do remember that is, the flowers. That is pretty sweet. And then last year for Valentine's Day, I had to work mm -hmm. because I work at a cupcake place. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think that we would be doing anything, but he came to work and brought me coffee Cute. while I was working, so... Take notes, boys. Exactly. So it's, like, not anything huge, but still, like, the little things yeah. that... The fact that he are special. took the time yeah. to just, like, show you that bit of affection, like, you weren't expecting. Yeah. That's always nice. I wouldn't know. Yeah. But... It's oh, nice. Man. Oh, man, so he's probably going to do something this year, too. <laughs> <laughs> I 
it, he's well he's probably not listening yeah. <laughs> but he he will probably after valentine's day <laughs> maybe if he cares just kidding um <laughs> do i have any interesting valentine's day stories no <laughs> Really? Like, nothing good? Nothing even, like, bad? <laughs> Probably bad. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I got dumped right after Valentine's Day. That was fun. Um, no, I had a, I had a boyfriend. Um, <laughs> a, a boyfriend. We dated so long ago, I don't, I'm not sure it counts. But, I mean, we went to see a movie. He got me chocolate. A stuffed animal, and I love stuffed animals, so yeah, that was nice. Yeah, you were looking for Pikachu. I was because he. (laughs) I think he's in the floor right now. Yeah, because he has that "I love you" shirt on. But I love my stuffed animals. Yeah, and I got Pikachu because I just got dumped recently, so (laughs) I went to build a bear workshop, and I made a Pikachu because I've always wanted one, and then I put an "I love you" shirt on it. So when I look at Pikachu, I'm just like, I know Pikachu will always love me. (laughs) I created him. (laughs) He's mine. (laughs) But anyway. (laughs) Um, anything else? Um, I mean, my birthday is right before Valentine's Day. So I feel like if I'm dating a guy, they just feel like, oh, well, we went out for your birthday. So, eh. Yeah. (laughs) What's the point in going out for Valentine's Day? I'm just like, we didn't really do anything on my birthday either, though. But Mm. okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got you something for your birthday. And I I also got you something for Valentine's Day. (laughs) You see? You're great. You're perfect. I need a boy version of you. (laughs) I can just be your soulmate. But then I'll be forever <laughs> with our cat. <laughs> True. <laughs> so sad. No, you won't be forever alone. <clears throat> I'm single right now. If anybody's interested. <laughs> Just kidding. If any of you are enamored by her lovely voice. My lovely voice. I will sing to you. I will. I will recite poetry to you in my most beautiful voices. You can take your pick. (laughs) You you know where this is going. (laughs) You can take your pick. I can be a king's messenger. (laughs) My lord, I love you so much. It brings me great joy to be yours. <laughs> or <laughs> Hi. I really like you and I feel like we're really going somewhere in this relationship and I I can't wait to take more adventures with you. I just love you so much. <laughs> See? If you're into children. (laughs) (laughs) No! (laughs) How dare you say that? (laughs) If you're into Russians. (laughs) Strasvitya. I feel like that was a combination of two of your voices. (laughs) Strasvitya. Minya zovut gimodan. could do my hair at a voice. Would that make you happy? (laughs) Yes. I don't know what what should I say. I don't know. (laughs) He went to Herod's. He went to Herod's. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my goodness. He went to Herod's. Oh my gosh. He went to Herod's. Anyway, we're getting way off track. Sorry. Okay. So, um, let's do 
favorite romance stories? Like your favorite romance novel. Do you have a favorite romance novel? Favorite romance novel? Yes. Jeez. I don't know. You steal mine, I'm gonna take a chair. No. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I would steal yours. I mean, why don't you go first then? Mm. Favorite romance novel would probably be. Ooh, oh, oh god. <laughs> probably Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> What? You said that you like the books. No! Don't say that! Oh my god. Why would you say that? Exposed. <laughs> no, I liked don't reading. Don't feel shame. I liked reading them. Not for the gross ick, but for <laughs> the terrible writing. <laughs> And it, it inspires me <laughs> to be a better writer than that. <laughs> and I, I think I can write better than that. So I feel better about myself when I read them. And also, <laughs> other than, like, the gross stuff, Anastasia graduates college and gets a job, like, two weeks after she graduates with her English degree. <laughs> And I just aspire to be that successful. <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty impressive as somebody with a future English degree. <laughs> so I'm just like taking notes. Um No, it's just very it's very it's very weird. <laughs> so thank you for that. You're no, welcome. that's not my favorite romance novel. I would probably ooh, I I really like Wuthering Heights. But I also like Pride and Prejudice. Ay. You know what? I'd I'd go with Wuthering Heights probably, because Heathcliff is crazy, but he's crazy in love, and I can appreciate that. You first. You next. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's really hard. Like I've actually never read. Pride and Prejudice, but I really like the movies. Mm -hmm. um, so I can't really say that I like those as a romance novel. You like the novel. Colin Firth one. <laughs> yes, the Colin Firth one is I don't like the awesome. Colin Firth one. Colin I Firth like is so the other one. Awesome. I mean, I like the other one. Face in it. I like the other one with Kira Knightley. Kira, Kira Knightley. Um, Kira but Knightley. I don't know. But anyways. <laughs> um, I, it's really hard because cause I feel like so many novels do have romance aspects in them that's true that's I true i don't know if i've ever actually read a book that was romance centered yeah besides persuasion but i didn't necessarily i, like I that hated one. persuasion <laughs> i liked house of mirth that was a good one no offense jane austen um, but persuasion wasn't your house best. of mirth was good um and even the awakening had its moments mm. of romance but then the Awakening's a great book, by the way. If you're single on Valentine's Day, you should totally read it. <laughs> you will feel awakened <laughs> and slightly dead. Just kidding. Um. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I, you I haven't like, read The Awakening. Yet. I like The House of Mirth. Yeah, that was good. Um, jeez, I've also also read like so many books that now I'm just like, oh, what is what is the books I have read? Mm hmm. But, um. We're literature majors, so it, we've read so much. So much. <laughs> so much. I mean, I, I really did like A Tale of Two Cities. That didn't I have feel romance like, in it. Like, well, I it mean, doesn't necessarily it have romance in it. I that think. That part in it. Yeah, I think the. I mean, not necessarily like romance where the people end up together, but just. Sydney's feelings towards Lucy to where he would like basically die for her husband. And yeah, that was sweet. For spoilers, it's always sweet when you <laughs> sacrifice yourself. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> um, but like Sydney sacrificed himself for Lucy's husband, so I really, I guess, appreciated that. And I was like, oh my gosh, like it doesn't have to be like. I don't know, you don't have to end up with the girl to, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with it. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah. I guess I should probably just start reading more romance novels. Okay, I mean that that's fair. Yeah. Um favorite romance movie. Ah, oh, that's that's a tough one. Oh, that that's such a tough one. Okay, like <laughs> favorite romance musical? Okay. Because I, I freaking okay, love... Okay, we, we'll do two subcategories. Musicals okay. and just a regular movie. Okay. Because we're a musical nerd. <laughs> okay, I guess for like the regular romance movies, I really love Leap Year. I, I think haven't seen Leap Year, actually. It's like, it's like a rom-com. Okay. And it's great, and I love it. Alright. So. Um. Hmm. Titanic is my favorite regular romance movie. Titanic. I just love it so much. I could yeah. watch it 10,000 times and not get sick of it. <laughs> I could watch these people die 10,000 times and not get sick of it. <laughs> I'm so I'm so sweet. Anyway, your musical? <laughs> um, Moulin Rouge. Okay. I love Moulin Rouge. It's yeah. great. It's I a love good one. I love the music in it. I know that it's about prostitutes. <laughs> but <laughs> We're so messed up. <laughs> what All about right. your favorite romance musical? Ooh. Well, you know, we did just see The Great Showman. That one was really good. Mm. But it didn't, like, the romance was sweet, but it wasn't, like, the best. I mean, yeah, eh, there was romance elements in it, but it wasn't, like, my favorite. I would probably say <laughs> Sweeney Todd. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably say, uh, crap. You see, I'm torn because if I say Phantom of the Opera, they're gonna think, oh, oh you love Phantom her and Ral together. And I'm just like, no, oh. I hate Ral, okay? She should have ended up with the Phantom. Okay. Team Phantom. Team Phantom. So I'm gonna go with Phantom of the Opera, Team Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually didn't even think of Phantom of the Opera. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. I thought that would have been like one of your. Top choice. I do love the Phantom of the Opera, and if, if she would have ended up with the Phantom, I think it would have been your number. It would have been better, but yeah. She's not. <laughs> okay, well, have you seen Moulin Rouge? Yeah. Okay, because I mean that doesn't end happily either, but I guess at least he gets some closure. But anyways, but yeah, Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, it's a really good one. I love Phantom of the Opera. It's great. It's great. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what we should do next. <laughs> um, can you describe your dream date? If money was no object, <laughs> if you could do anything, if you could even travel to just okay. have spaghetti in Italy, <laughs> if that's what you so desired... Okay. We're going to England. England, okay. And obviously, we have to have tea mm. whenever we're in England. You are my soulmate. So. <laughs> See? <laughs> you don't need anyone else. You got me. <laughs> but you're going to go with B and not me, so. We can, we can go together, too. <laughs> He's going to be so sick of me. <laughs> like, ain't, oh. Kimo has to go with me wherever I go. No, he loves you. Yeah. But anyways, so we're going to England, drinking tea while we're there. I mean, I guess we can do the whole fish, fish and chips thing. <laughs> I've never tried it, so that'd be really that'd be interesting. That'd be really cool. Get like part of there. Surprised you didn't say you wanted to go to the there. Yeah, I thought about it, but <laughs> I, I'm with you though. It's not the most romantic place yeah it'd be cool to go especially because we actually know the language yeah but then while we're in england we can go to bookstores oh i bet they're so pretty i know Ugh. so from around bookstores <gasps> maybe go oh to the God. globe theater i just realized something what okay well i'll just ask another question okay well, well, finish your dream. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe go to the Globe Theater. Watch a play by Shakespeare. That'd be pretty cool. Hmm. So. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Um. 
Your turn. <laughs> My dream date would just to have a date. <laughs> <That's> so sad. <laughs> it's so accurate. <laughs> No, um, ooh, my dream date. Mm. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'd want to travel anywhere. I mean, I do, like, I have the dream of, like, I want to travel with the person I fall in love with. I want us to go places. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I have, like, one place that I'm just, like, we have to go. Um, I just, (laughs) gosh, so deep. I'm just kidding. Um trying to think of what I'm wanting to say how I'm wanting to phrase this I'm cool wherever we go as long as we have a good time and it's romantic and you know that's pretty much it that's all I could ask for (laughs) Antarctica not Antarctica you said wherever as long as it was romantic (laughs) somewhere warm okay I'm, it's freezing cold outside. I want to go somewhere warm. Um, we can go to Russia. It's cold there. I don't know why. It's... Um, yeah, but Russia at winter time is beautiful, so that would be kind of sweet to go to. Oh, you could, like, ride in sleigh. Oh, we could, like Ivan the Terrible did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what if our professor starts listening to our podcast? <laughs> I, I feel like he would listen. I feel honored that we're mentioning him. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to the professor. Yay. You know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> you get the Ivan reference. <laughs> anyway. Um, I thought of another question. Because um, I thought of something else I loved that was a romantic movie. Okay. Beauty and the Beast. Enchanted Christmas. <laughs> is like my favorite romantic Disney movie. <laughs> what is your favorite romantic Disney movie? Huh. It would either be like Tangled. I feel yeah, like. I really like Tangled. Tangled is great. Mm-hmm. You think it's Tangled? I'm trying to think of all the ones that have come out. Recently? Frozen. I mean, like... Zootopia. I really like Zootopia. I haven't seen Zootopia, but there's not, like, romance. That was not romance. Unless you read the fan fiction. (laughs) Then there's romance. Can I... Can I include The Lion King in mine? Do you think Nala and Simba are... There's a romance. Have you... Can you feel the love tonight? (laughs) Are you kidding me? Okay, (laughs) I... That's... I There's don't... a romance song. That's a sex song. <laughs> <laughs> it is! Have you listened to it? Yeah. It it is. But the kids are like, ooh, this is so Maybe sweet. You feel the love tonight. Mm-mm. But The Lion King is probably my favorite Disney movie. Okay, general, so. I'll give you The Lion King. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Yay. Okay. Um, okay. So, have you heard of any, like, pickup lines that are, like, your favorite? <laughs> it's my favorite pickup lines. Take notes, oh. guys. Uh, I can't remember exactly. I I find the biblical pickup lines really funny. (laughs) Because I think there's one, something about, like, your hair is, like, something like sheep frolicking over the pastures of somewhere. I don't remember exactly, but... (laughs) Great start. (laughs) I just find it funny. Perfect pickup line. I know, right? Um, do I have a favorite pickup line? I don't hear them very often. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't uh, either. Um, <clears throat> mm. I, I always come up with pickup lines myself, but now I can't think of any. <laughs> I'm like a master of pickup lines. 
Here, I'll read to you what I sent to this person on this. Why was I British? This person on this this, this app. Um. Okay. I said. <clears throat> I thought your bio was funny, so I chuckled, and in my fit of laughter, I started choking. As I desperately gasped for air, reaching for my bottle of water, my hand swiped right over the phone. Oh, I was so embarrassed that I died, and now I'm talking to you from beyond the grave. So you could say that I'm your boo now. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he really appreciated it that we never talked again. <laughs> Your turn. You're great. Okay. Well, I, f I found the one that I was okay. talking about. So, your hair is like a flock of goats descending from Gilead. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny because, like, who says that? Like, that's not romantic at all. Like, I don't. I guess I just don't get it. Like, goats. Okay. <laughs> all right. I guess. <laughs> so... I actually found this little quiz. You found a quiz? Yeah, since it's just going to be like a Galentine's Day. Yay. I thought we could do like okay. the questions to ask your best friend. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Some of these are really hard. <laughs> They're like common sense questions. Mm -hmm. And I just know everything nonsensical about you. <laughs> um... Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, here's a romance one. <laughs> Who was my first kiss? Well, <laughs> it was the bad guy. <laughs> What's his name, Patrick? <laughs> no. Oh. It starts with a P. Okay. Don't, don't say his name. Oh. We'll just say Patrick. <laughs> don't say Patrick. I know a Patrick. Oh, not Patrick. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick. I don't know the people you know. It's, it starts with a P. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> the bad, the bad one. The bad one. Sorry, man. It just wasn't very good. <laughs> Anyway, who was my first kiss, Adria? Yeah. Oh, it, oh, it was B. Yeah, yeah. B was your first kiss. How romantic and sweet. Yeah. I hate you. I'm just kidding. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> what is my nationality? <laughs> your nationality? <laughs> American. <laughs> Question. He's an American. <laughs> Secretly Russian? Secretly Russian? Maybe. Perhaps. Conspiracy? That. <laughs> Conspiracy. <laughs> what color are my eyes? Oh, <laughs> jeez. Are you serious? I think they're like a green. No. Oh my god. Are they blue? They're blue. Okay. <laughs> Dang. Sorry, I don't. Have I ever failed a test? You fa you're failing this one. <laughs> yeah, you failed that genocide quiz hard. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I fail at genocide. <laughs> that should be a good thing. <laughs> That's a good thing. Hmm. Okay, who's my favorite superhero? Your favorite superhero? Yeah. I feel like we don't talk about superheroes. You're right, it's a trick question. Uh -huh. I don't have a favorite superhero. <laughs> <laughs> How do I like my coffee slash tea? Well, with your tea, you like putting honey in it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and then coffee... I mean, not black. No, not at all. <laughs> you put the, you like creamer in it. I fill that sucker with creamer. Lots of sugar. Lots of sugar. So. And you just, 
You like your creamer, too. Yeah. And your sugar. But you don't put near as much as I do in your coffee. Yeah. And your tea, you can just have with a few things of sugar. And then it's... I mean, I like some honey in my sugar. In my sugar. (laughs) I like some honey in my sugar. (laughs) In my tea. (laughs) But, yeah, not a whole lot. Oh, this is a good one. I don't know if this one for you, though. Do I have a birthmark? Not that I know of. Wrong. Well, I don't know. (laughs) Yes, I do. It's right here on my side. Oh. You can't see it unless um, it's warm or something. But, <laughs> like, if you can see it once I get out of the shower. It's huge. It takes up, like, the whole side of my right side. Okay, well, I'm not in your bathroom after you get out of the shower. No, but we've, we've been swimming and stuff. Okay, I don't think And anything. I don't know if you do or either, so. I don't. I didn't think so. Yeah. What is my favorite snack? Hmm. <laughs> I probably could have answered this. Oh, you really love Cheez Its. True. Yeah. That probably would be my favorite snack. What and, were you going to say? Oh, a goldfish? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking goldfish, but I I think they're the same, like cheese crackers. Yeah. Um, your favorite snack. You you snack on so many different things. Personally, I don't feel like I have a favorite snack. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like you just snack on whatever you can. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm a foodie. You you would know this one. Okay. <laughs> oh, what is my favorite shirt? Your favorite shirt? Yeah. Favorite <laughs> shirt. Well, I have a bunch of shirts. <laughs> this is why this is a good question. <laughs> Well, you do have that KGB shirt. Uh huh. I do like that one. That's funny. Um, it's not the "When It Rains It Pours" shirt, is it? Um, mm. no, I don't wear that very often. I do like it. Yeah. I don't wear it very often. Probably because I can't find it because my room's a mess. But yeah. <laughs> is it the Sweeney Todd shirt that I got you? I do like that one, okay. but I've only wore it once. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Because I, I just recently found it. I'm going to wear it again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to, like, what you wear. Do you wear it a whole lot? That's what I was... I'm trying to think about which one I wear the most, actually. Uh, right now, I wear this Lucille tank top yeah. a lot <laughs> on Tuesdays and Thursdays for badminton. <laughs> um... I do really like my My Chemical Romance shirt. I probably wear that a lot. Yeah. So I'd probably go with that one. And your favorite shirt. <laughs> well, I'd say your favorite long sleeve probably is that um, Port Harbor long sleeve you wear. I do. You wear that a lot. Yeah. And it's bees. You, you, <laughs> you really like your Beatles shirt. I don't know if that's your favorite, though. You really wear that EKK shirt a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's been cold, so I haven't been wearing a lot of t-shirts yeah. recently, so. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I got a lot of these shirts, like, right before winter. Mm-hmm. So, I really haven't worn them. Hmm. <laughs> Need some filler music. Hey, you get on that while I'm looking. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. <laughs> some of these questions are stupid. Just like, what's my favorite board game? What is my favorite board game? Oh, trying to get the disco. She can't hear it. <laughs> mm. I don't 
think there's any really good questions on this one, actually. So this is a bit of a veil. <clears throat> I can't believe you didn't know the color of my eyes. <laughs> what day is our friend anniversary? Our friend anniversary. You could just say the month. Okay. And the year. August. Every year. <laughs> just every year. Well, it was in 2014. Yes. When's our best friend anniversary? Our best friend anniversary. Because <laughs> we weren't best friends automatically. Best friend of misery. <laughs> Jeez, I guess the next year. The next year, probably. <laughs> Ooh, the air just kicked on. Ooh. Um, alright. Let's do something else. Sounds good. Uh, oh, um, I had another idea. Since that failed terribly. Killer, killer music. Oh, yeah. Mm. He said he was going to sing it to me at our wedding. It's called Death of a Bachelor. <laughs> wow, that's so sweet for him to sing. I know, right? Okay, seriously, I feel like... All of the songs that I would want to be played at my wedding are like anti love songs. <laughs> but they're so like beautiful. I would love that's a good question. But, I would love yeah. um Probably You and Me by Lifehouse. Mm. Ooh, but I really like Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. <laughs> I think it could work. It's like would you lie with me and just forget it all? Yeah. You know, I think it's sweet. Or Yellow by Coldplay. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> and it was all yellow. <laughs> yeah, but there's actually another song that... I don't know if it's actually like Panic at the Disco, but it's at least Brendan Murray singing with someone else. <laughs> it's basically just like, <laughs> I don't love you, I'm just passing the time. If you could love me if I learn how to lie. And I'm just like, it's so pretty, but it's like so anti love. Death of a bachelor. Disco. Hmm. That's a. W these are some. I'm trying to find that thing. Aw, oh, yeah. You know, maybe if you want to play that music. We can come up with our own story. Sure. We're gonna take three minutes to write a story about something. I'm going to try to write one about love, but we'll see. Okay. And we're starting now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is getting... A depressing story. I can't write anything happy. <laughs> That's kind of sad too. <laughs> <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> ah, ah, type two diabetes. Type two diabetes is serious. Yes. Oh, so serious. Okay. Let's uh, do show tunes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, it's called Without Love. <laughs> Without Love. Oh, I know that song. Yeah. Love. We'll be better prepared next time. This is the first podcast we've ever done. Yeah, so, you know, it'll be better next time. Promise. I haven't even watched a podcast. She's or never listen. seen a podcast. Or she doesn't listen. even know how this goes. Listen to a podcast. I. Gimo just roped me into it. Yeah. So. We just got this mic today, and I was like, let's do the it. podcast tonight. <laughs> Great. Doing a podcast at night. <laughs> so tell them the story of the Best Buy man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, that was interesting. Yeah, so we went to Best Buy tonight at 830 because we wanted to get a mic. To... I got rejected. Yeah. And I wanted to... 
<laughs> I needed to buy something and I said, well, I really need to get a mic for my YouTube channel. And you can continue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we went to Best Buy and we went to the mic section. So we were looking at these two different mics, the one that we have now. And then there was another one that was like a snowball. Mm -hmm. um, so we were contemplating which one to get. So Gibo like um, walked up to the guy, one of the workers, and was like, hey, we need some like advice on which one do you think would be better so he comes over and is looking at them and he's kind of like talking asking us what we're what we're using it for so he because we say like we're, Gimo has like a YouTube channel so yeah. she does a lot of stuff and I just kind of help out so yeah. <laughs> so we're just like but you could Talking have him about all. that. I guess I could, but I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> but anyways, so she's like, oh, yeah, we, like, do some gaming and stuff, and I like to do commentary on stuff. So he's like, oh, hey, like, what, like, kind of games do you play? Like, are you into, I think you said, like, Call of Duty and something else that I don't remember. Um, so, <laughs> so Gimo was just like... Um, I'd rather not say, because, like, she comments on, like, dating sims and plays them, and, you know, like, that's not very embarrassing, because you can say either, oh, like, I do a lot of, like, dating sims, or say, um, I'd rather not to say... <laughs> Which makes it seem like we're into some pretty, like, crazy... Crazy stuff. Stuff. So. Okay, but how many of you would admit, like, Ah, oh, yes, I play the dating sims on quite the regular schedule. Like, I wouldn't just say that. Would you say that? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Either... This doesn't make any sense, but I've finished the story. Okay. So that's fine. I don't really. <laughs> why is that? I don't really feel like mine's totally about love. But, All right. But I ended it with the read word mine love. first. Okay. But I ended it with the word love. So Re read it dramatically. Okay. As dramatically as you can, and I'll read yours dramatically. Okay. He walked in, and my world stopped. Hello, he said. Hi, I said. He walked past me. He spelled past wrong. <laughs> and, and I wondered if he saw me. I hung, I hung my head in disappointment, but then I felt his hand on my shoulder. I turned around, and he was with a Slim Jim. My heart pattered, and I reached for it. He looked surprised and blushed. I said, thanks. He then pulled the Slim Jim away and ripped the wrapper open and put it in his mouth. I blushed and leaned forward to take the other end. He stepped back, shocked at my action. He looked at me, bewildered, and mumbled, What the f- <laughs> under his breath, and he quickly ran out of the store. And that's the story of how I lost the love of my life over a Slim Jim. <laughs> Snaps. <laughs> Such snaps. Thoughts. Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it either. <laughs> I love how it's just like he, he talks to you and he's like, hello. Hi. She's she walks, just, my idea was she's just this crazy person at the store okay. that is like, my love of my life didn't even recognize me. Okay, because it was like, he passed me. And I wondered if he saw me. It's like, well, he just said Heidi, so I'm assuming he saw you. Well, he walked past her. He's like, I, I, did I not say even saw me? No. Yeah, I did. But yeah, I wonder if he even saw me. Yeah. As, that as makes it love. a little better. Okay. Anyway, my my story is like super. <clears throat> how should depressing. I? Oh, how should I read it? Sad. Yeah. yeah just just however. She clenched us. <laughs> <laughs> You little, said, little, however. A little um, more dramatic. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. So it needs to be a girl voice? I guess she clenched. 
Well, you're... Ugh. It sounds like you're observing. Oh. It's a girl. Okay. She clenched her sweaty hands together, sitting at the table, waiting. For what? Him? Well, he was three minutes late. Three turned into five, and five turned into an endless hour of single date night for Sadie. She sighed. So much for that. She paid for her meal and headed out the door. She walked to the pier, close to the restaurant. She took off her heels, climbed on the railing, and closed her eyes. <laughs> she felt the wind rushing through her. She felt free, like flying. She was rushing towards love. <laughs> She killed herself. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never said that. Okay, Miss Kate Chopin. She <laughs> killed herself. <laughs> I was. I never that. said that, but I she just said. ran into the water and never came back. <laughs> <laughs> You'll understand that if you read The Awakening. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> I go to a date, and nobody shows up. But I don't kill myself. That's a bit extreme. Yeah, it is. We're just dark souls, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, we have five minutes left. So what do you want to talk about in the last five minutes of our show? I don't know. I don't really have anything else written down on that piece of paper. Okay. Oh. Oh. Good burp. There you go. Um. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all for this episode. No, we can't end it now. Why not? You got five minutes. Well, it doesn't have to be an hour. It needs to be an hour exactly. Ugh. Exactly. Exactly. We could just come up with our own dialogue. Come up with our own dialogue? <laughs> For what? Like a story? A story. Oh. Okay. We can just, like, take turns. Okay. There once was a girl named Barbara who was a great couponer in her own country. What country was that, you ask? <laughs> she was a great couponer. In the country of Balloonia. 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 Okay. But <laughs> Barbara had quite a temper. And every time she went into a store and her coupons did not work, she would yell and scream at the poor cashier until the cashier was in tears. We never said that Barbara was the nicest person. <laughs> so even though she's the protagonist of this story, <laughs> it doesn't mean that we like her. The cashier <laughs> eventually had had enough and said, Lady, you need to get laid. <laughs> Barbara was aghast. <laughs> I don't think that's very appropriate for you to talk to me about. It's the my... cashier said, It's not very appropriate for you to yell at me for something that is not my fault. <laughs> Thoughts? Barbara looked at the cashier. Touche. <laughs> she mumbled. <laughs> Barbara then thought about the last time she had ever been with a man. 10,000 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> when she was a cave woman in one of her past lives that was the last time <laughs> oh wow <laughs> but at least she had someone she thought tomorrow's valentine's day <laughs> Barbara didn't know who she would spend valentine's day with so she she thought to herself Wow, I haven't had a date since caveman times. 
I, I'm, I'm not very good with, with men. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, she looked up at the cashier and she was like, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm just not good at this whole dating and relationship <laughs> things. I, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow for Valentine's Day. I guess just spend it with my, my cats. The cashier <laughs> grabbed the ladies, grabbed Barbara's receipt and put it in her bag, handing it towards her as she ranted on about this life she did the cashier did not care about. She didn't the cashier did not get paid enough to care about this lady's problems. And the cashier simply said, I can help who's next on one. <laughs> And Barbara faded out <laughs> into the distance. <laughs> Anything else to add? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this got too real. <laughs> she faded out into the distance. She tried clawing her way back to the surface. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but no. She just faded out into the distance. <laughs> She spent, she ended up spending that Valentine's Day with her cats, who got her a lovely pair of slippers. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that has been an hour of Gimo and, and Liv. Liv. I almost did the Adams Family. <laughs> Gimo and Liv. Gimo and live, Gimo and live, Gimo and live. Yeah! Alright, we'll be better next time. Thanks for listening! Bye! Bye!